Titanfall 2 tips to improve your KD anyway here is going to be some tips and two uh, of most of the only playstyles you have in Titanfall 2 anyway playstyles the fast way and the slow way <laughs> the slow way is obviously the snipers the campers <laughs> I don't mean quick scopers but when it comes to sniping in Titanfall 2, you're usually going to find yourself in the back of the map, aiming down sight, waiting f for the prey to go right into your sights. Same thing with camping with an LMG. Usually in pilot versus pilot with an AWOL right in front of you. It, that's basically the best strategy you can actually get for camping in uh, pilot versus pilot. Anyway, then you also... I'd say have the fast way, which is the running gun blazing guy that everybody likes because, you know, montages, nuclears, <laughs> yeah, uh, the submachine gun or shotgun guy, and, <laughs> or even assault rifle dude. And I'd say that the mobility based one, aka the fast way, I'd say that one is the one I like the most, like mostly. Uh, mobility kind of turned into second nature for me in Titanfall 2, but if you guys don't really have it patented down yet, or just uh, don't really like to be like breakneck speeds, um, go ahead and tone it down into the k into more of a the tactical-ish style of play. And then I'd say mostly is map awareness you gotta keep an eye on that mini map I know most of the time in like game modes where it's the AI all those bleeps are usually gonna be grunts or specters reapers or uh, how do you call it stalkers but um, and once in a while maybe in pilot versus pilot or even in like in attrition you're gonna find yourself uh, looking over into your radar and it's like hey there's an enemy up front of you and boom Double kill. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then comes precision. I know mobility is supposed to be not so precise, but uh, you're actually going to need it quite a lot because the, these maps are made for huge mech robots to go around. So if you're smaller, uh, if you're as a uh, pilot and you're very small, so there's going to be an absolute ton of long lines of sight to go around so you're gonna have to practice controlling that recoil on that crazy submachine gun of yours or assault rifle so you can actually take them out and then also don't be afraid to hip fire this is not Call of Duty Call of Duty has this weird thing of when you shoot the bullet kinda goes sideways for some reason yeah, the best guns to go with hip fire are submachine guns but you can all Let's go crazy hip fire with a R201 carbine or sometimes even the flatline. And uh, as you all know, shotguns hip fire crazy. And let's see, keep in mind on what ability you're using. Like here, I keep forgetting I'm not using phase shift or stim. And when I eject out of my Titan, I usually throw my pulse blade. Mistakes. <laughs> no, but then also with the grapple hook. It's kind of the uh, replacement for uh, good mobility, but the thing is, it's friendly for noobs to go around since they probably didn't really grasp all of the m mobility you can have in Titanfall 2, aka slide hopping. And then uh, you also have like the more tactical pulse blade. Yeah, I usually want to see through walls, but <laughs> I always like to joke around and try to get that throwing knife kill. And uh, then stim is always good to get in your opponent's face but then also you can use it as you eject your titan to boost the speed as you go upwards or even sideways a bit with the little strategy that's still lingering around from good old titanfall one and uh... yeah uh, after that is well like kind of knowing what's enemy what's not like i know that is kind of confusing to some people some people are, are are kind of nature to that but it, it just sometimes happens like in any game there's that one time where you run across an enemy and think he's friendly and don't shoot him and then he shoots you it's always that one time like 
It's always a first. And uh, then you kind of want to acknowledge what gun are you using are you using at what range. Like in this game, I think I wanted the cutted parts. I on this I actually used the submachine gun at long range, which isn't the smartest idea. But if you have good enough accuracy or the guys at low health, you can pick them off. But if you're like <laughs> using like the R97 at r that range, uh, <laughs> just forget about it. Just just completely forget about it. <laughs> um, and then actually use the good guns. I know the R97 is going to be no, pretty fun to use. Like it's the Doctrine of Passing if you're from Destiny, and you know that in the Doctrine of Passing from Destiny is a high-rated fire assault rifle, which is super overpowered. It's not really overpowered here. It, it isn't. What's overpowered is the alternator, the, uh, how do you call it, the Volt, and the car SMG, if you're looking for SMGs. But anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video. <laughs>